From the team that delivered the scavenger hunting of Elibits last fall comes Dewey's Adventure, a platformer with tilting worlds and shifting climates. As an enchanted droplet of water named Dewey, you'll need to restore order to the O's world by recovering the fruit of the Tree of Seven Colors and defeating the forces of the wicked Don Hedron. But is Dewey the Fountain of Youth or a serious drip? The main thrust of Dewey's adventure is laid out across six areas, each composed of four levels in a boss fight. Completing a level is as simple as finding the storybook at the end, but the game also ranks you on how many O's you find, and how quickly you make it through, providing incentive for players to replay earlier levels, to find hidden areas, and improve scores. The six main areas are set in different environments such as jungles, caves, and ruins. Each environment introduces new gameplay elements like riding air currents in mist form, changing temperatures to raise water levels, and shaking the remote to activate giant drills. Dewey's abilities are also limited in some areas, since ice levels are too cold for him to turn into mist, and volcanoes are too hot for him to freeze. In addition to the main quest, Dewey's Adventure also features a level edit mode, which allows you to build stages and send them to friends online. It sounds great on paper, but the confined, blocky arenas don't fit the controls. Even the pre-built stages in this mode are nearly unplayable and require constant camera manipulation to navigate. On the upside, Dewey does include a few extra goodies. You can take screenshots and send them to friends, and whenever you stop playing, the game sends a letter to the Wii message board to congratulate you on your progress, or provide tips on a boss you couldn't beat. Dewey's adventure lasts for over 10 hours, but we had to show some serious fortitude to get there. At least, the last few hours introduce enough new mechanics to motivate players to trudge toward the final boss. <laughs> Play Dewey's adventure by holding the controller sideways in the classic orientation, and then tilting it to send Dewey sliding on his way. Tapping up or down on the directional pad changes the climate of the world and causes Dewey to turn into mist or ice forms. As ice, Dewey can deliver more powerful attacks or spin to defend, while mist Dewey can float above the fray to shock groups of foes with bolts of lightning. You can also summon gusts of wind by shaking the controller up and down, or cause earthquakes by shaking side to side. Precision tilting is the source of many of the game's challenges, joys, and headaches. You'll need to zip Dewey across narrow walkways, jump between moving platforms, and slide down frozen rivers before they thaw. At times, you'll also have to navigate Dewey across a series of ropes strewn with swinging spiked balls. The tilt controls mostly work, but it's difficult to be precise with them. It's even more difficult to judge the depth perception when jumping, making it easy to fall to your doom when trying to hop to a lower platform. Tilting the world only affects Dewey until specific situations later in the game, which makes no sense whatsoever. Bosses in Dewey's adventure are rather challenging, requiring multiple steps to defeat. You may need to hit a series of switches to flip over the obligatory giant crab, or jump into the lava spewing from an enemy's mouth to turn it into a bridge that you can use to reach the weak point. Most are manageable, but the final battle will convince a lot of players to simply throw in the towel. <laughs> Dewey features some great ideas, but it can also be extremely frustrating thanks to its unpolished mechanics. While it's normal for platformers to carry a family-friendly look with cartoon creatures in the lead, the character design in Dewey's adventure skews a bit too young. Frankly, Dewey looks and sounds like a baby, and his constant chirps and coos will drive some players up the wall. <laughs> There's no doubt that Dewey is aimed at kids, but his toothless grin and chubby cheeks are disgustingly adorable. Dewey's adventure takes the board-tilting mechanic of games like Korra Rinpa and brings in precision jumps, boss fights, and some inventive bits of its own. There are some rough spots, and it's far too challenging for its preschool target audience, but older players that can get past the glucose-coated exterior will find it to be a decent platformer with a fair share of challenge. <laughs>